What a little shorty at? Help us out here. Okay. <laughs> Yo, this is my man right here. We gonna flick him up. Yo, don't go nowhere, Jack. That's Frenchy. Yeah, that's Frenchy. He know me. Yo, film him. Catch him. Yo. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah, get over that. Let me tell you something, I've been documenting this this brother for like two months now. You know what I mean? I got it. I got no reflections. Fuck out of here. Yeah. congregation of young thugs, you know what I'm saying, and they're smoking, smoking some blunts, and um, I just began talking with them, they don't know me, but it's like I got a camera, so I look suspect, so, you know, yo, you know, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, I'm making a book, you know, X, Y, and Z, and they're like, showing me mad love, like, yo, 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 that's ill, that's ill idea, yo, this kid's doing a book, and um, I noticed this cat in the cut, and I'm like, oh, shit, yo, this motherfucker, um, I think I remember him, you know what I'm saying? I think I remember him from a few nights ago. 
because I came out at night, you know what I'm saying, at like 2 in the morning, and um, I had a flash, and I was shooting with the flash, and um, it was all sorts of scary figures out there, <laughs> and I just seen the brother, and I took a shot of him, boom, I took a picture, and um, he looked mad fucking scared in the picture, like I scared him, you know what I'm saying, but anyway, you know, when I'm shooting with color this night, these thugs, they're smoking a blunt, and the fucking shit got so small, and this dude was just in the corner just waiting for them to pass it to him. And finally they passed it to him, but it was so small he couldn't even put it to his lips. And he was trying to hit it like it was coke. The ro I can't even call it a roach. It was smaller than a roach. He was trying to bring it to his to his nose. And I'm like, damn, this brother, I, you know, I love this brother. <laughs> I love this cat right here, you know what I'm saying? Because he could be an ill subject for me. He could be a, a, um, a main character in my movie. I got a friend, I took him out to, to, you know, where I shoot at night, took him out there, and, uh, I don't know how he felt about it, if he was uncomfortable or what, but I know he didn't want to stay for too long, and I see Frenchie, you know what I'm saying, I'm like, oh shit, yo, this is my man, this is the dude that I've been documenting for a minute, or I wanted to start documenting, you know what I'm saying, you know, I began to shoot him up, you know what I'm saying, and he's just fucking draining from the mouth, you know what I'm saying, mad saliva, you know, coming down his lip, you know what I'm saying, and I'm loving all of that, and that's when I learned his name was Frenchie, I think he told me that night that his name was Frenchie, or I heard somebody referring to him, like, yo, Frenchie, come here, something like that, this shot is maybe the fourth or the fifth time that I bumped into him, and I actually pulled him to the side, and said, yo, brother, walk with me, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you a few dollars, and um, I'm gonna take a few photographs of you, and he said, okay, photograph, photograph, no problem, you know, He's, he speaks Creole, you know, I guess he's black Haitian, you know. So I pull him to the side and I actually frame this shot up, which I don't do on a lot of my photographs. I don't like to, I, I consider myself a photojournalist, you know what I'm saying? So I don't like to change too much of what's already going on. I did pose this shot. I framed him up right there. I made him walk with me into the light. And um, this is Lexington Avenue, 125th Street, in front of a... Um, dollar store and he's standing in the in the in the uh, right in front of it the lights hitting his lips and um it just represents everything grimy that i represent the heart of my photography this one image could summarize my vision as a photographer you know what i mean if jesus held the camera and was walking the streets that's who i want to be you know what i'm saying because jesus spent his time amongst the lowly you know what i'm saying and um some reason uh even though i have money i have a car i have a crib i have every book i want to read however you want to put it motherfuckers that are so broke it's such a paradox how these brothers is so fucking wealthy but are living in the street you know it's a good contrast compared to you know, what I what I go through, you know what I'm saying, obviously I have a job, I gotta maintain my job, I got a family, gotta, you know, it's, it's, uh, I'm a functional member of society and so on, so there's a lot of judgment coming from people who think that they're above this man. People that I photograph on the corner of Lexington on 125th is just pure acceptance. When I, when I seen Frenchie light this woman's cigarette, I said, gosh, I was like, yo, this brother is so broke as, as far as on the, you know, societal strata, you know what I'm saying, but look at his generosity, look at his compassion, look at his humanity, look at his love, you know what I'm saying, and that struck me, I was just very, very happy with the, with the, with the framing, with the contrast, and um, to the technical people that know about film, I'm using an extremely low speed film, I'm using 125 ISO film at night, the slower the film, um, the less sensitive it is, or the less light it's going to absorb in a dark place, but I've learned that shooting at a low speed film at night produces a heavy contrast. It also makes it very difficult to shoot because your shots come out kind of blurry. But I, I do have a very fast lens, prime lens, 58 millimeter, uh, 1.2, and I got a 55 1.2 for my Nikon. So it, 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 it enables me to get these, these, these sort of shots with the type of film that I choose to use. And afterwards, you know, Frenchie was holding up the match and I said, yo, keep it don't throw it don't throw it yet and um boom i got a beautiful photograph of the match something so simple as lighting another human cigarette 
was amazing to me. It just struck me a certain way, you know what I mean? This photograph was taken maybe one or two days before Valentine's Day. French had just came out of a hospital and he was in the street. And um, this girl's name is Angie. You know, she smokes K2, she smokes a lot of shit. Um, but me and her developed a friendship by way of friendship because I would always be like, yo, where's, where's, uh, where's my man at? And she'd be like, oh, he's in the hospital or he's, he's in the shelter or whatever, you know. So I began to photograph her by herself on her own. Realize that the beer Frenchie has in his hand is paid for by the dollar that I gave him for the previous shots that night. No. And um, he was smoking this shit called K2 And I'm like, damn, what is this, man? And I find out it's a synthetic marijuana It's basically potpourri with It's doused with a chemical that's supposed to simulate THC It's legal And a lot of the brothers out there Smoke this because it doesn't show up in a drug test I was like, yo, these motherfuckers are crazy, man the Motherfuckers will smoke whatever the fuck is given to them you know, and I'm smelling this shit secondhand, and I'm like, yo, that shit smells disgusting. It doesn't even smell like weed. They roll a whole thick, heavy blunt just for Frenchie, because he's kind of like a mascot, in a way. And they give him the blunt, and I'm taking pictures of him. I said, yo, I'm going to spend the night in the shelter. So I'm like, yo, Frenchie, where do you live? And he said, 120 Lexit did they ever do? Cause that's how he speaks And I was like Word I'm like yo Can I Can I You know Spend the night You know In your In your place You know Is it right You know what I'm saying And he said Yeah come 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 So I'm like Word I'm like Alright You know I went And um I made sure I had my film In my pocket I had my cargo pants on I had film in my left pocket I was good I was prepared To spend the whole Fucking night And just See how the fuck He lives And I go I walk down and I go into the shelter, and um, they got a metal detector, and they're, they're testing him like he's walking into an airplane. You know, I say to the woman, like, listen, I've been um, spending time with him in the street. I've been documenting him. Is it okay if I spend the night here? She said, absolutely not. Can't come in here with the camera. I started lying. I'm like, yo, I'm working with the with the new museum of Harlem. She says, absolutely not. You got to leave right now. So then at that point, I'm, I'm like, damn, French, y'all got to leave, man. And he looked like he was, I never seen him look, he looked like he was going to cry. And then he went to give me a hug. He had snot. He had motherfucking K2 ashes. He had fucking spilled beer, whatever the shit. He had shit all over his shirt. And I'm like, damn, man, I can't, I can't hug you, Frenchie. I didn't, I'm, in my mind, I'm thinking that. I didn't say that, but I didn't, he, I put my hand out. He came to hug me. I put my, my hand out just to shake his hand. And then it was deep. He put both of his hands out, you know, palms up. Like, he wanted me just to embrace his hands. And I looked at his hands, and they were fucking dirty. But I grabbed both of his hands with my two hands. My camera was hanging around my neck. And I looked at him, and he, his eyes were closed like he was praying. And it was the deepest few seconds. Because I'm like, yo, wherever he is, is not here. I'm still asking, like, yo, where's Frenchie at? You know, because I hadn't seen him for like maybe two weeks. And Angie was like, yo, you, had, you didn't hear? Frenchie's, Frenchie's in a coma. I'm like, word. Uh, and then somebody else, yo, Frenchie's dead. I'm like, word. They're like, yo, he got hit by a train. So, I'm like, oh shit, you know, I wish I could have photographed that, you know. So from that point, I knew I was heading in the wrong direction. I kind of objectified him, you know what I'm saying, and I was just like, wow. But in a way, not surprised, because I kind of disassociated myself from this world a long time ago. I'm not investing in anything here, e everything here anyway is time dependent and comes to an end regardless i'm from eternity you know what i mean and i'm like yo frenchie what the fuck man you got hit by a train and then another person walked up and was like yeah he got hit by a train it ripped off one of his ass cheeks and we walked inside of the store 
And when we walked inside of the store, there's a young kid that works the register. And he said, yo, French, you will show you where he got hit by the train if you buy him some K2. I'm like, nah, I don't want to take a picture of that. And um, French is like, K2, yes, please buy me some K2. Please buy me K2. I want to smoke some K2. So I'm like, word. I'm like, all right, Frenchie. I'm like, yo, you sell $5? They sold me four grams, and it came in a vial like it was piff. So I'm like, all right, yo, this is this is a lot of shit for $5. I can see why niggas smoke this. So not only did I buy him the K2, but I rolled it up for him. I rolled him half of the vial, you know what I'm saying, in one joint. And I'm like, yo, Frenchie, let's spark this up. I had no intentions of burning any of that shit. Frenchie is smoking his ass off. And I'm taking pictures of it. And he's puffing. He's doing some ill shit. And I'm, I'm loving it. I'm taking pictures of him. Ah, like, just fucking raising his voice. And I'm taking pictures the whole time. And there's a bus stop right there on 124th Lexington Avenue. Everybody at the bus stop is looking at me, taking pictures of him. They're looking at him carrying on behaving real wild and i'm just like damn i went inside of the store and frenchy followed me inside of the store and i was happy uh, we got out the street we got off the street you know but he was fucking wilding out you know he's laughing hysterically he's going through every emotion and he falls on the ground laughing and crying at the same time and i photographed it i had to and I would tell you, no matter how you feel personally, still take the picture. Go ahead, take the picture. Deal with your, with with yourself later about it. And the dude that told me to buy him the K2 in the first place was not responsible. I'm responsible, but that dude is looking down on him. And I took a picture of that. And then I said to some some young cats in the street, I'm like, yo, you guys smoke this shit every day. I don't see you guys acting like this. What's up with this shit? And they were like, yo, which one did you get him? And I, uh, you know, I still had the vial in my pocket, and I pulled out the vial that was half full, and it said diesel. And they were like, "Oh, you got him the hardest shit. You got him the heaviest, the heaviest one. That's why he wilded out like that." They were like, "Yo, he loves that shit, though. Yo, he was fucking crying. Like, yo, he he loves that shit. Don't feel bad about that. I'm still taking pictures, mind you. I'm still photographing him. He put his hand up, and that's when I stopped. Frenchie is definitely gonna be a big part of my book. You know, whenever I." figure out when I'm gonna put my book together and put my book out you know what I'm saying I seen him the other night and the other night when I seen him he just walked up to me and he said do you want to photograph me I need a dollar and it was almost prostitution that put our relationship in context when I went to go and take the photograph Frenchie just slowly put his hands up like he was trying to frighten the viewer. He's seen beyond my camera. He's seen beyond me as the photographer. And it's almost as if he ha he knows that hundreds and thousands of people are going to see these photographs. He slowly lifted his arms and his expression, I don't give a fuck. Nothing contains me. I'm not even thinking that. Everything is love, expression. Everything is peace, expression. He's moving, or I'm moving. But in this picture, he slowly lifted both of his hands up and just held them. He was posing, and I took the photograph of that. I wanted to say, my photography isn't about being um, pretty, you know what I'm saying? It is very much about beauty. It is very much about truth. It is very much about goodness. But the last thing it's about is being pretty.
filming. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the fuck? Give me the note to move like this. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't move. Hold that. Hold that. Yeah. 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 Yeah.